everybody. Good evening. It is uh, July. What is it? July 16th. I can't believe that we're already halfway through the month. I don't know where time goes, but um, I am super excited to be with you guys here today and to see all of you that are on here with me. I'm so grateful that you're here. Thank you for the congratulations. It has been the most amazing week. Um, and I feel totally blessed and uh, you know, I just have to thank all of my wonderful customers out there and my team members, of course, my family and my friends and the grace, you know, God's grace. I couldn't have achieved that milestone without y'all's love and support. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. And um, I have to tell you, my family has just been, um, well, for those of you that are just joining us, I. Um, had crossed a Stampin' Up! milestone and my husband was like, okay boys, we're gonna celebrate mom this week. And so there is pink balloons everywhere and streamers and it has been so cool. I got locked in my office for about three hours and I'm like, I have to go to the bathroom. Um, and my son was like, oh no, no, no. And I could hear the ladder in the foyer, which was quite frightening um, because it was Dylan. And we all know that when Dylan gets playing or doing things, it can be a little treacherous, right? Um, but it was pretty phenomenal. And um, so it was really cool. And I got to come out and he had taped a congratulations. He made, you know, a sign and taped it to the top of the stairs. And um, it was just really, I just have never felt so loved by everyone. So thank you for that. And then I have to tell you, I have to brag on him one more thing. You know, he, he, but he got a card. Now his first card was actually a sympathy card for my congratulations, but he wrote the sweetest message. <laughs> so who's reading that it was a sympathy card? The second card he got was a congratulations card. And he went to every neighbor's house yesterday and um, my close friends here and had them sign it for me. And so last night before dinner, he was like, mom, I have another surprise. And I opened it up and absolutely just had tears of joy in my eyes that his little heart was so thoughtful to do that. Um, and then of course, to have such nice messages from all of my friends. So I'm just gonna look down here and um, look at all these wonderful folks joining me. Gosh, there's some roses from Shirley there and some hearts. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. Um, you know, uh, I don't know, several years ago, I used to do what I called um, the Pinehurst Retreat. I don't do that anymore because I have my boys and, and you know, kind of the best time to do the, the retreat, the Pinehurst Retreat, um, was when the resort was kind of in the middle of, you know, golf and Christmas and kind of there's like a middle two weeks in there where it was a really good price. Well, that happens to fall on my kids' birthday. And now that everybody's bigger and got soccer and all kinds of things, it's a little bit tougher. But, um, but one of the techniques that I sort of just came up with was a fabric background. So I think Tanya's in here. I think I saw Tanya. Hi, but hi, Tanya. Um, I think she's probably done one of these cards with me before. I absolutely just love to come up with these like crazy harebrained ideas and just have fun with it. And so I can't hardly wait to share with you um, what I've got coming. I've got fabric. So I uh, got a couple of emails from some quilters out there. So, you know, and I thought with everybody wearing masks and you might have some leftover scraps. So, uh, you know, you might be inspired to pull those out after this video. Well, I know you will be, because it's really cool. Um, all right, so I'm glad that y'all are here with me. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop next door and get started. At the very end, I have cards to show you that I created um, with this various fabrics. And I'm gonna tell you what, there's gonna be a part two. That's right. So the next video next week will be fabric part two. There's way too much that I have like going through my brain that I can't get it all out today. So I'm gonna kind of show you one at, you know, the background today. And then next week we'll go to a part two. Okay, so I'm gonna step next door here and show you what I've got. All right, so here we go. I have gotta come over here to my seat and move this over. Gosh, guys, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I have to tell you, I was so excited to share this with you. This is like one of my most favorite techniques to do. 
And so as you can see here, I just have some bolts of fabric. And so I went to my local um, fabric store. You know, there's all kinds of different fabric stores. You can buy fabric online. Many of you quilters and sewers and mask makers, you guys could probably share like great places to buy fabric. Um, but anyway, I just went to a local fabric store and I bought these fabrics. And I just thought that they were gorgeous patterns, right? This one I think is one of my favorites. So pretty. And then I liked this one too, but I haven't done anything with it yet. It's very earthy and fall. And so I'm really excited about that one too. But um, anyway, so I got these fabrics and then I was like, okay, I want to make this into a background, but I've got to figure out, you know, the background and then I got to figure out, well, what am I, what stamp set am I going to use? So here you go. Here is the stamp set that we're going to use today. So can you guys kind of picture these cute little animals and kind of which design I used for each one? Yeah, I bet you can, huh? Pretty cool. All right, so I'm not gonna give it all away yet. So that's called Back on Your Feet and it is a current Stampin' Up! stamp set. So here we go. Let's go ahead and prep our fabric because that's the first thing that we need to do. And so hang tight here with me. So when I was at the fabric store, I bought this like, I don't know, I am not a good ironer, if that's a word. Um, it's, I'm pretty bad, actually. Um, I, I don't do arms very good. So this is like a little arm one. And I saw it and I thought, oh, this will be perfect because then I can use it to share with you guys um, versus like a ginormous one. And so here we go. This is what we're gonna do is I have actually cut a piece of fabric and I'm gonna show it to you. So here's the fabric. This is the one that we're gonna use. And I'm just gonna look over next door just to make sure that everybody's with me here. Okay, so this is just a piece of fabric that I cut from that bolt, all right? And then what I'm gonna use is this here. It's called Pellon and it's Wonder Under. Oh my gosh, that sounds so funny. That sounds like some crazy underwear or something, Wonder Under. It's the original paper-backed fusible web. <laughs> so it's called the 805 Wonder Under and <laughs> I can just say that over and over it just makes me laugh um, but it's by Pellon and um, and if you see here I actually have a picture of this on Brandy's cards as well in case you decide to purchase some of this on your own and um, create as well but it does say on here that it will re the fabric will remain soft after fusing and that it can be um, it wonder under bonds fabric to fabric or any uh, porous surface such as wood or cardboard. And so I thought this was kind of cool. That's why I saved it because I wanted you to see that. And it does say that, you know, you want to leave it on for five to eight seconds while it's hot and so forth. So anyway, that's on Brainy's cards. It's fairly inexpensive. I got this like really big kind of fold of this stuff. It comes quite large. And then I just kind of cut it down to size and it's kind of got like a, like a rough side and then a smooth side. It honestly kind of reminds me of maybe um, like wax paper maybe, but it's not really like waxy. Okay, so here we go. So here is my Wonder Under. And so this is kind of the fusible side. It's kind of the, the side that has the tacky or um, it's rough, okay? So I'm, <laughs> Denise, you like my Wonder Under, huh? <laughs> All right, so here we go. So what we're gonna do is I have an old iron. Now, if your Wonder Under is kind of bigger than your fabric, I cut it down to size so that I didn't have to put anything underneath here, but you might want to put a scrap piece to protect your surface as well. What do we got on here? That looks like a side piece. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this on here and show you exactly how I did it. So I have my iron and this guy is toasty roasty. And so I'm gonna look in my camera here and make sure y'all can see me. I was like, how am I gonna do this? But then you guys know me, I'm like, I'm in. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> so here we go. I am just kind of taking my iron and this gets super, super hot. So just be careful. Um, just be careful, be careful, please. And so I would recommend 
that after you iron this on that you let it cool before you get picking it up and getting sporty with it because it is definitely hot 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 the other thing that i have found is you really need to make sure that you melt that onto the the fabric really really good um, the better you melt it on there the better off you're going to be because then it will peel right off it's kind of like a contact paper if you will i can't sew a button to save my life and if grandma nana is in here i want to say hi to grandma she is a hundred and two can you guys believe that um, Doug's grandma is just wonderful and she's been watching my videos and Doug's mom Patty well whenever my kids blow something out or they need a button oh, I have to say I call grandma Patty to bail me out <laughs> but um, anyway it's kind of funny but all right so you guys see what you got to do here all right so what I'm gonna do is like I said this gets really hot so I've actually done another one that I can put this aside so we're gonna put that aside and now now this is just a little strip okay um, and I just did because earlier I didn't realize oh I shouldn't have pulled that off so I could show you guys so basically after you would iron it on you're gonna get a corner started and then you're just gonna pull it off just like that okay so then you just have kind of you know some contact paper that is trash and so you can see this part does not have the fusible stuff on it but this part does right so you guys are at home going oh my gosh i have so much fabric right that you guys could like totally do something really really fun and cool right i hope that's what you're thinking all right so here's a bigger piece and what I have here is a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock. And yes, I am fixing to iron this down. Can you guys believe that? I am. I am fixing to iron it down. So here we go. We have got our iron. And I am just going to go right over the top of my fabric, fusible side down. Now, a little tidbit you might want to put a scrap piece down to protect your service. You can see here, my fabric had some fusible on it, uh, some wonder under, and it actually kind of melted onto my, um, my little shoulder board here. So you just wanna make sure that you protect your surface. But I tried to cut this so that um, it was pretty much to size, so that I didn't have to worry about that. But isn't this cool? I'm ironing cardstock. I'm ironing fabric onto cardstock, actually. And um, it is the coolest thing, I have to tell you. So, 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 so cool. And um, it's so much fun. Can you imagine, when I walked into the fabric store, I was like, oh, I see a bunch of designer series paper like everywhere. Um, that's what I was thinking. And when I told the lady at, I think I went to Joanne's first, and I told the lady that I was fixing to iron it on cardstock, she looked at me like I had two heads. And she's like, uh, well, people are making masks. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but I'm going to iron it onto cardstock. Can you tell me which is the best wonder under? No, just kidding. I didn't say that. But I did talk to her about it, and she thought I was a little crazy. Um, but that's okay. You know, she's not the first person to think I'm a little cuckoo. All right, so here you go. So now it is ironed on there. And now remember, it's hot, super, super hot. And it's not coming off. So that I think is really, really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my husband take my iron because I do not want to stick my hand against the iron. That would be bad. So thank you for taking that. Okay, so again, I'm gonna set this down here on the floor and kind of get my space. All right, so I'm gonna look at your comments. What do you guys think? We are ironing fabric onto cardstock. Isn't that cool? So now I have also done it to this fabric as well and it feels like fabric it looks like fabric it is fabric it's really cool super cool okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come over to my cutting board and make sure y'all can see me and the coolest thing i think is with this cutting board is that you know when you basically when you iron this onto cardstock it cuts like fabulous 
Yes, amaze balls, really. Trust me. You guys are going to be like, whoa, seriously? So this is just your Stampin' Up! trimmer, which I love my trimmer. And check this out. Are you guys ready? The suspense. Here we go. I mean, that's a little dinky blade. I know. You guys are ready. Just cut it. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Bam. Cut it. And so look. Look at that clean edge. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How cool is that? All right, so let me see here. Now I have to pay attention because I got to cut it right. Otherwise, we might have to start over. You guys are like, well, that would be okay. No, nah, that'd be okay. But, oh, did you guys hear that? That is the coolest thing. We just cut it again. And look, <laughs> it's so cool because it's fabric. You guys know that when you cut fabric, you cut it with scissors, right? Fabric scissors to get that nice straight cut. But it's pretty unbelievable that it actually cuts like paper when it's fused to the paper. So that is what I think is so cool. So, so cool. All right. So let me just make sure I got my right size there. Um, nope, I did not. So let me cut it again. Oh, you guys are like, okay, now you're just playing with it. Is it normal cardstock? Is it normal cardstock? Yes, it's actually, it's a Stampin' Up! thick, um, Stampin' Up! thick cardstock is what this is. Yep, it's the, um, it's I believe our thick cardstock is 100 pound. And that's all it is, absolutely. Yep. Okay. So here we go. You guys are like, okay, she's just playing with it now. I'm just having so much fun. I have been so excited to share this with you guys. So excited. Like Amanda will tell you, Amanda's in here and she's helping answer questions for me tonight. Um, and of course, if you, if she can't answer the question that you have, um, I am more than happy to help you. I just can't read the comments as I go because it's really hard to think and do this all at the same time especially for me, I don't know. It's quite hard for me. All right, so here we go. We have fabric and it's, it, it's adhered to my cardstock. So I have a piece of Early Espresso cardstock. And oh my goodness, I just realized I didn't even show y'all the card first. That's kind of cool. So it's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be a surprise. All right, so here is a piece of crumb cake. What I wanted to do here is I wanted to bring out the colors in the fabric. So that was my idea, was to try to play to the colors in the fabric. And so I've added that now, that's perfect. And then we're gonna add that right to the top. And I felt like the crumb cake was still earthy enough, but yet it kind of allowed the fabric to just really be in all its glory and not take away from it as well. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that guy down right to the top. And then we're gonna open it up and we might as well just go ahead and just get our inside as well. We'll get all the glue and stuff taken care of. And then who is gonna guess which cute critter is gonna go, I guess they're not critters, they're animals, but which one is gonna go on top of here? Do, 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 do. What do you guys think? Which animal, the turtle? the giraffe, or what's the other one? The sloth. He is like so cute. Oh my word. Super cute. Okay. Gosh, I tell you, some days I feel like a sloth, but at any rate, there we go. So super cute. I love it. And so we are ready now to create our image. So if you guys guessed the giraffe, you were right. Yay! All right, so I'm gonna ink up my giraffe in Memento Black. And of course we're doing that because we are gonna color with some Stampin' Blends. That's why we're doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this right here. Oh, he is just adorable. I just think he's so, so cute. Now I'm gonna stamp him a second time because I need one to cut out. The sloth, I see you guys, a lot of you picked the sloth for that one. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I picked the giraffe, that is so cool. Oh my goodness, thank you guys for chatting with me and for your comments. That is so much fun for me to, to know y'all are here with me. All right, so now you guys can see that my stamp does not have a sticker. That could be a problem right? Because if I want it perfect, 
I could certainly practice with it, but I have seen lots of demonstrators mount their, their um, stamps this way. And I'm gonna show you, I've seen several different people do this and I tried it for the first time today and it was rock solid. So I'm gonna share it with you guys too because I was amazed. And so what you're gonna do is you're going to pull off your, because this is the side that you're gonna put your stamp on and, and in the past, I would just pull this piece off and stick it on there, right? And I don't always get it straight and it kind of makes me cranky. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this a piece off and then I'm gonna stick it to my block. And you guys are like, oh my gosh, no, really, it's okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick it to your block. This is the side that would normally stick to your block, right? And if you don't have any fingernails, well, the next best thing is your scissors. And so what we're gonna do is, I've got a little piece in here. Not sure where that came from, but at any rate, that's okay. So it says, um, what does that say? That says, this is not good. So then what you can do is you can actually take and line up your stamp right on top of that sticker. And it is so nice, and now you have the perfect mount. Isn't that cool? And now you can pull it right off the block like normal. And then of course you can stick it right back on. So now we should be good to go. All right, so I have, isn't that a cool trick? I can't take credit for it. I've seen lots of demonstrators brilliantly do that. And I finally decided to give it a try today and was like, oh, that is fabulous. Absolutely fantastic. And I will be using that trick a lot. All right, so we're gonna just ink it up and this is not good. And we're gonna stick it right there. Perfect, okay, so that's done. And you guys know I always take time to close my stamp pads. And I do that on purpose, just because. All right, here's our blends. You guys can see here I have, what do I have? I have soft suede. This one is dark soft suede. I have crumb cake, got soft saffron, so saffron, and some light mango melody. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how I colored my little giraffe. He was fun to color, I have to say. Um, all right, so I liked, actually I have a bronze here too. This one's bronze. So I like to start with the dark. Now I know some people like to start with the light. There is no right or wrong way, folks. Just start however you would like and just try to play with it. There is no rhyme or reason, really. Um, he has got, you know, there's just not a whole lot of blending that's taking place on this guy. So. You know, I wasn't too concerned. I just need to get some color on his little spots. So, and sometimes when you're looking at these stamps, I know what a giraffe looks like, but sometimes I just have to Google it too and be like, okay, I need a giraffe. <laughs> so I can get better and a better idea too. Um, so there is my first one. This one is dark so uh, soft suede. And so now I've got the light soft suede and I'm gonna come back in here and just add a bit more color and I kind of want a little bit more of the light, right? So that way you've got kind of a two, you know, some little bit of a blended look, a light and a dark. And so I'm just gonna color his spots real quick. And so then once you do that, um, what I decided to do is to go back in and add a little bronze. And the bronze is to kind of make, you know, to kind of give you a little bit more depth. And his little nails down here, I'm not sure what their color they're supposed to be, but I made them light, light so saffron, or soft suede, light soft suede. And so I'm also gonna take the bullet end and just kind of maybe highlight his tail a little bit. So he's coming along beautifully. I'm gonna make his little ear hairs brown. I just like to play and have fun with it. And so he's cute. Now I have my bronze and with the bronze, I'm just going to kind of come in here and just add a little bit of color, just a little bit of color around, um, inside these little, these little pieces here. And that's just so that 
again, it just brings a little bit more depth. And see, this one's dark. It looks like I've already messed up my caps. I wonder why I get so confused. I tell you, I live confused. All right, so there we go. I think that's good. So now I'm gonna move to light so saffron. And I know I tell you I always go with the dark first. I do when I'm blending, but today I'm gonna go with the light saffron. And um, I had to look again, you know, because my, my, uh, my gaps are always wrong. So here we go. I'm just gonna kind of move around him. Now I just stamped him directly on top of the cardstock. Um, and I also stamped him on a scrap piece. The reason I stamped him on a scrap piece is because I would have colored that one first, but I've already colored and cut one of these guys out. So I didn't feel like, you know, I didn't feel like I really needed to do that. Um, so if you know, cause I also wanted to show you that you don't have to cut him out if that's hard on your hands. Um, there is no die cut but you would have to fussy cut him, but you certainly don't have to. He looks just as lovely and adorable straight on top of the cardstock. All right, so now I'm just kind of adding a little bit of the, what is this one? Dark So Saffron. And I like to just kind of use the lines that are already in the image. So Stampin' Up! has already kind of put those lines in there to kind of enhance what maybe would be darker, you know, to kind of shadows or so forth. So I'm just kind of utilizing what they've already done. And it looks like there was a little knot in his neck right there. And I may have missed one spot. So let me go back and find my light soft suede. And we'll just kind of color it. There we go. That looks good. Okay. So I'm also going to grab my light mango melody. And I just thought that would kind of give it a little bit more more color. Now, of course, you could kind of go along his neck and his hair and kind of give him a little bit of color if you wanted to. Um, but for today, I'm just kind of coloring him quickly so that I can show you how um, I do this. I absolutely love my Stampin' Blends. So if you guys watch my channel, thank you. Um, you guys know how much I love these. I should say my youngest, Dylan, he tells me every single time, Mom, did you tell your friends to subscribe? So I'm telling you guys right now, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you click that little bell in the corner. So that way you're notified on my next video. So now I can say, Dylan, I told them to click the bell. Okay, so here we go. There is my cutout giraffe. And um, like I said, I, we stamped it twice on scrap paper for that reason. That is so darn cute that I almost hate to cover him up. Oh my. Well, okay, so let's not do that. Let's just save that one for later. He turned out adorable. So we're gonna flip it over. This is, um, this is correct when you're using Stampin' Blends. It absolutely does bleed through. That's not a problem. Because this is the thick cardstock, generally I don't worry too much, but if it was the thin cardstock or the 80 pound cardstock, our normal Whisper White, you're definitely gonna wanna protect your surface and um, to make sure. All right, so just gonna look over. Hello, Shirley, you like giraffes. I like giraffes too. I think one time, <laughs> one time my husband and I were on a, um, a little safari ride in the local area here. And, oh wait, let me just show you this first. This is so cute. Look at this. <gasps> so some Stampin' Dimensionals sticks perfectly right on top of my fabric. Yeah, not DSP, but fabric. Oh yeah, how cool is that? Okay, so I have to tell you the story. We were on this little ride, wagon ride, and we were looking at all these wonderful animals and giraffes and stuff, and there was a guy from Ohio, and well, he said, hi everybody, I'm from Ohio. And I looked at my husband and I'm like, oh wow, he's from Hawaii. And he's like, no, I'm from Ohio. I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't one of my proudest moments, but he was really funny and he thought it was quite hysterical. So this is a piece, a scrap, right? And I just, it was just a piece of scrap that I cut and I thought, well, like, let me make sure y'all can see this. So I thought, well, why not just decorate the inside just like that? So, you know, it's kind of fun, right? And if I would have cut him out, 
that kind of shows you I don't know if you guys can see that or not but it is super fun cut out um, I actually stamped it and then cut it out so that I would at least have um, some of the you know the ground and it's kind of neat the fabric is different and so you can see this part of the fabric is a little darker this one's a little bit lighter I really couldn't tell a front or back on this fabric and so that potentially could be why right that could totally be why um, the other thing I wanted to show you was and we've done this times you know several times before but I don't see any reason not to do it tonight so here we have our envelope and heck yeah we're gonna go ahead and just decorate our envelope I have some extra fabric here and I'm just adding some liquid adhesive just like that and then I'm gonna take my scrap and bump it up to the edge of the envelope perfect and just like your cutting board your snips work just as fine and just as well to cut through here and I'm just gonna kind of cut that off and look isn't that cool that you can like perfectly cut this fabric with this card on this cardstock it's the coolest thing super cool and around our edge perfect and so now we kind of have a little fun you know a little fun envelope that's gonna coordinate all right so that is my giraffe oh my goodness I was excited so now I'm looking for my fabric here it is so I'm gonna look over at you hi Helen I love you too I know you love the giraffe well I love you to pieces um, I am excited this I have been playing with these now for several days and I couldn't hardly wait to share this with you guys okay so let me clean up my space and I want to see which one which card do you which little guy do you think I created with this one what do you guys think I'll give you a second so we have what do we have left well we've done the giraffe so we have this cute guy or the turtle so what do you guys think all right well if you guessed the turtle you are correct but wouldn't this be really cool this um this uh fabric with like the um the whale suite even the blue would be fabulous with the whale suite and i want you guys to know that i did just buy this fabric i think this one came from joann's so it's just fantastic absolutely okay so here you go i'm going to show you here is the cute little turtle here he is oh hope you're back on your feet soon oh my goodness he's so cute right yes you guys guessed the turtle well done y'all know me pretty well so yeah so i tried to play the fabric into the colors of the animals so that's why i chose the turtle because i thought that i could highlight these fun colors that kind of felt like bubbles you know and um you know i kind of felt like grass sun water um and so i thought it just really highlighted him beautifully now then i decided okay so i have some extra fabric why not add it to the inside and then i could write my message on here and so i used some tear and stick tape to add this piece because i didn't want to use stampin dimensionals because i didn't really want this popped up for trying to write that'd be a little wonky i think but um at any rate i just thought that was so fun so fun can you guys just see how beautiful that fabric is oh my goodness it's lovely so cool super cool all right so now we have mr giraffe and we have turtle so that leaves us with the sloth okay so i'm gonna look over to see if there's any fun comments over here um let's see you guys are liking the fabric oh that just makes me happy and thank you you guys for all of the wonderful congratulations and um you know and for being there and for being here with me tonight and i couldn't do what i do without your love and support and for what um you guys you know for being there for me and and for being my customer i'm so grateful and um so thank you from the bottom of my heart um i'm just so grateful all right here's the next one this one 
I totally see with the whale. Oh yeah, wouldn't that be cool with the whale? Yeah, I think so. Now, I have no idea if you can punch this out. So, I don't recommend doing that with your punches. Nope, not at all, don't recommend it. Um, I would stick with your cutting board or scissors. However, there is going to be a part two to the fabric, and so I will show you guys that next week. But for today, we're gonna move on to our sloth. And he's just needs, you know, he's just hoping things get better soon. And there's our sloth. And I just thought he was so precious, especially like the browns and the earth tones on top of the blue. So we could totally go with, you know, the whale um, suite and so forth. But I also thought he was super cool this way. And then on the inside, I just took a piece of scrap and I hope that y'all can see that well. Um, just took a piece of scrap and just put it along the bottom. Um, you know, I was just kind of having fun with it. And then of course I added it to my envelope, which was also super cool. And in case you guys were wondering, I used the Wonder Under. That's right, the, I think it's called 805 Wonder Under. Um, I just like saying that, I know. Okay, so here we go. So we have the sloth and we have the turtle and now we have a giraffe. Let me bring him over too. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love these cards and I hope that you do too. I hope that I've inspired you to, you know, maybe grab some extra fabric that you have in your house um, for mask making or whatever and get yourself some wonder under. <laughs> and, um, you know, you can start to create with it. Um, I'm just so, so, so excited that you guys are here with me and that I could share this with you guys today. So I'm going to step back over. I've got a couple other things to share with you guys. And so give me one second to go from this side over to the other side. Okay. So I think I'm over here now. Okay. I think I'm back. <laughs> it's like you got to climb over from you know, one stool to the other stool. And then I have to tell you, when I start my video, I look totally fresh and ready to go. Whew, when I get back over here, I gotta be like, whew, okay, I gotta get myself back <laughs> in order. One day, we're gonna take a picture and show you this like chaos that I have here. As a matter of fact, my water was like strategically placed over here, maybe not in a good spot. And my husband said, do you really wanna leave the water right there? Yeah, no, probably not. Um, okay, so I'm gonna kind of look down at you guys. Yes, the, the Wonder Under by Pelon, you got it. So gosh, I hope that you guys like those cards. I sure do appreciate you joining me today. Um, I do have a part two coming, so I'm really excited to share those with you too. Um, so you'll have to join me again next week. Of course, this video will be you know, available on my YouTube channel, and the post is up and live on Brandy's cards as well. So if you're looking for the sizes and the dimensions, I did get that posted today. So I was super excited to have that available for you. Thank you all for um, your orders this month. The host code gifts have been very well received and I'm super excited. Um, they're some of my favorites. And so this month I'm gonna reach forward is um, for the host code gifts, we have the Elegant Gems, which are so pretty. And I can't remember, somebody emailed me and said, oh Brandy, you are absolutely right. These gems are gorgeous. They are so pretty. So those are one of the choices. And then the in-color markers, which are always awesome to have. And then, of course, the seabed embossing folder, which is lovely as well. And for those of you that joined us on the Creative 8 Retreat, y'all know that I used that folder, and um, it was so much fun. And so let me just give a shout out to those of you that joined us on the retreat. I'd love to know if you're in here. That was a super fun event, right? It was a great day. I had somebody email me and say, oh my goodness, I didn't think I could sit by the computer all day, but I did. Um, so, but we did give you breaks and you were able to go to the bathroom. And, and of course, I think some people were pleasantly surprised that they didn't have to sit there the whole day, that there was a break in between videos and so forth. But it was so much fun. So thank you guys uh, for purchasing the retreat through me. Each Creative 8 leader does have their own personal link. So um, I appreciate uh, you guys purchasing it through me and your support. 
Good news is, is tomorrow, the Creative 8 girls and I are gonna meet um, via Zoom, and it's not gonna be as much fun as Friday night, last Friday night, where we shared some funny stories and things, but we're gonna be meeting, and we're gonna talk about the date open registration for the October event. That's right, so we've got another one planned, so it'll be fall and holiday projects. And of course, the projects, we're gonna show samples, so it's generic enough that hopefully it'll move you into um, this, you know, the January and kind of that winter season. Um, but we're really excited and we might have another guest or two. And you guys that joined us, you guys know Gertie and how funny she is. So, um, you know, it's just been a hoot. And so I will keep you guys posted. Um, you know, we are going to be emailing the links to the videos and the tutorials. So if you did join me on the Creative 8 Retreat and you're not on Facebook, not to worry. You're going to get those here in the next day or so. I promise you they're coming. We just all compiled those today. So they are coming. And then, of course, if you weren't able to join us and you would like to purchase the retreat, you can still do that on Brandy's cards as well. And I will email you all the downloads to the tutorials as well as the video links. All right? Okay, so I think I've covered most everything. Um, a couple more things. Holiday catalogs are going out in the mail now. So that is exciting. Um, so start watching for your holiday catalog. It should arrive here in the next week or so. Um, and so if you've made a purchase with me, you should absolutely receive your catalog. And if you don't, just reach out to me and let me know things happen. The, you know, <laughs> things, crazy things happen. I can't explain it, but I'm more than happy to send you another one. All right. And then don't forget bonus days. There's a couple more weeks left of bonus days. So for every $50 you purchase, you get a $5 bonus day coupon that you can use towards an, Oct um, towards an August order. Right. So those are really awesome because our holiday catalog is going to go live um, in August. So that'll be a nice little perk to have. All right. So I'm going to look down real quick. I see some people joined me on the retreat. Oh, that's awesome. Yay. So it was, it was so much fun. Victoria Leffingwell. Yes, you were there. And um, I think you had sent me a really nice email about it as well. Um, it was just a really, really fun day. And, you know, there was a lot of work preparing for it. But I have to tell you how much joy it brings myself and the other Creative 8 leaders to share with you and to have you to know that you're having just as much fun. Um, it's pretty cool. All right. So, you know, I have a few cards here. And I just want to share these with you. Um, I just picked a few random cards that I received. Of course, I've missed last week because, well, oh, it's because of the retreat. I wasn't able to go live. So I have quite a few cards, but um, I just picked a few and um, then I'll show you guys a few more the next time, all right? All right, so this card is from Barbara, one of my team members. And I just thought that was so pretty. This is from that sunflower stamp set. So, so pretty. I love how she did the sunflower and how it's just like kind of peeking, um, you know, peeking out of that square. It's just lovely. Absolutely love it. This one is from Lolita, my dearest friend here in North Carolina. Um, and so this is um, Lolita. She always kind of stamps the inside of her card and writes her message. She does a beautiful job. And I always look forward to getting her, her little masterpieces. This one's from Donna, and Donna, these are so cute. We all love the little zany zebras, right? So, so cute. You can't help but just not, like, love them. And then she added the little guy on the inside. So fun. And this one, um, gosh, I wish that I could get you up close and personal with this one. This one has got, um, oh, it's just lovely. It's got uh, some, I don't know, it's rays. So I almost think it's like, you know, when you dry emboss with your little... Um, not your pierce tool, but the other end of it, your scoring tool. We'll have to do that sometime. But she did a beautiful job. And then she added a bunch of Wink Estella. So it's like really pretty. And, um, and I love her choice of colors as well. So really, really beautiful. So thank you, Donna, for that lovely card. All right. Here's another one. This one is from, let me look here. This one's from Sherry. I think this one was from our team swap. And so I just thought that was lovely. I love the triangles and the different, you know, the designer paper. And then she did like a texture up here. 
think it might be the diamonds. I'm not totally sure. I'd have to go look, but it's just beautiful. Really, really nice. And then this one is from Norma. Miss Norma, your card was so cute with the whale. Whale done. Oh my goodness, this whale is just so cute. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And so it's kind of a little shaker card and she's got the dome on here. Absolutely precious, super cute. So thank you, Norma, for sending that card to me. Okay, guys, I think that wraps it up for me today. Um, I just appreciate so much um, of you spending this evening with me and being here. And I hope that you are inspired by my fabric uh, backgrounds. I can't wait to see what you guys create. If you have any questions, let me know, of course. Um, you can send me an email on Brandy's cards. Of course, there is a post that is up and it's live with the sizes and the dimensions. Um, so you can go over there too and have a look at that. And I also have the Pelon Wonder Under 805 picture of that up there. So you can see that too. Um, and I think that's about it. And of course, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, I would love the opportunity to help you and earn your business. So just reach out to me on Brainy's Cards as well. All right, everybody, I think that's it. Part two, coming next week. I hope you guys are gonna join me. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And um, I'm gonna have to get to work and start working on the next round, right? Okay, thanks, Linda. Thanks, Patricia, Denise. Susan, Shirley, and Amanda, thank you for being in here. My love to Grandma Nana, and of course, um, all of you for joining me tonight. Have a blessed night, guys, and take care. Bye, everybody.